Hey guys, this is Sam Geek. I've been asked this question so many times. It's gotten so annoying. I'm going to make another a video about it. The question is, how do I get, how do I rip a DVD and put it in any format I like? All right. First thing you do, you get the DVD out of the case and you put it in the computer. For this video, I am going to use a program called Handbrake. It's the most useful program I have ever found. It's free and it's excellent. It has so many formats, it's not even funny. And also keep in mind that I'm on a Mac, but this program is also available for Windows. It's the exact same thing, except there's more Windows formats and um it's on Windows what else can I say um also keep in mind that encoding a DVD takes two to three hours okay guys this is how you do it you have your DVD right here and then you go to Handbrake Handbrake is a very useful for program for Mac and PC and um what you do is you get you here I'll show you from the beginning. You get choose source, you choose that, you open it, it scans the files, and you press start. And it'll take an hour or two to do this. Okay, here it is again. And you what you do to change pro, you know um, formats is you click over here PS3, PSP, iPhone, iPod, and while it's doing this, it'll encode it. And it'll take an hour or two to do it, so um, you might always, you might want to walk away from your computer. But what do you want for free? There are faster ones, but seriously, what do you want for free? It does it excellently, and it's perfect. I right, guys, now that I've shown you the software, I'm going to show you what a video looks like. This is the movie 300, and it's been put on iPod format. See, it plays beautifully. And it even looks good on the iPod. Doctor, sir. And, um, there's literally no problems I've experienced with the software rather than the load time. But, what do you want for free? I'm sorry the video is a bit crappy, but my free program for screen recording is a demo. And it only lets me do 30 seconds at a time. Yeah, and yes, that is a Futurama background. Thanks.